Well, we told you about a report yesterday, the Obama administration deciding on 17 low-level detainees that soon could be transferred out of the prison at Guantanamo Bay. But listen to what White House Press Secretary Josh Ernest said when asked about that report. I don't have any announcements about any planned transfers uh, at this point, but uh, I can tell you that the current population uh, at the prison is 107, uh, 107 detainees. Uh, there are currently 48 detainees whose case files have been carefully reviewed by national security professionals. And those professionals have determined that under the right circumstances, uh, those 48 individuals could be safely transferred. Unbelievable, Bernie. They will not take a pause. You saw two days after Paris, the White House greenlit five detainees to be yeah. transferred. They won't even slow it down and take a temporary pause from releasing the most dangerous terrorists. Actually, from what country. I understand, it was the same day as Paris, and they didn't announce it until two days later, if I'm not mistaken. But however, the same thing. They're tone deaf. It's unbelievable. You're right. There's about a 30 percent recidivism rate. But uh, aside from that, it's just not now. Not right now. Just wait a while, but put a pause on everything that you're doing. And, uh, you know, I mean, 107, uh, close down Guantanamo, bring them to the United States if it's so expensive, but don't release these people back into it. And on the heels, Kennedy, of the news just this week yeah. that one of the terror uh, terrorists that was released from Gitmo has returned to join the fight with al-Qaeda co to conduct more terrorist attacks. Yeah. And this is their this is their response. We're just going to green light 17 more. Yeah. Where where are they going? I mean, I actually agree with Bernie. I think I've said it for a long time. Guantanamo Bay is, is too expensive. You can transfer uh, some of these inmates. We've got terrorists in this country, and we've already got we've got terrorists in prisons, and obviously from San Bernardino, you know, we've got uh, terrorist individuals and probably terror cells. So uh, move them to this country where uh, they can be. We can keep an eye on them, and they can be in this system where we know exactly where they are, where they're going, and what they're doing, and most importantly, what they're not doing. The great irony, though, will you, be you don't you don't trust the Qataris. <laughs> so yeah. the great irony will be. If Bo Bergdahl ends up at Guantanamo Bay, oh, chew yeah. on that morsel. How about that? Yeah. Well, put the, these guys in the population with some uh, some of these crazy uh, skinheads and uh, you know, just let them roam free. Cat, why aren't Republicans talking about this? issue more. I mean, they seem to be spending all of their time firing at Donald Trump okay. instead of President Obama, and he seems to be getting a pass I on this say, because they're talking about Donald Trump. Yeah, it, it's it's kind of reminds me of the whole apology tour or excuse me, like the love me tour. He wants to close Guantanamo Bay before he leaves office because he said he would do that. And remember, everyone drove around with the little Obama peace sign stickers on their cars. And now it's not been like that. He hasn't done anything he said he was going to do. So that's why he doesn't want to put a pause on it. I think I think he's so focused on his legacy and on himself, and the less he has to do, the better. Have you seen his to-do list for 2016? I mean, it is amazing. Polar bears. At the top of his to-do <laughs> list, he wants to visit Cuba, which is like a vacation, I guess. And then he wants to focus on clean energy. Beyond and nowhere and on the, went to Cuba. There I mean, you go. Very. Nowhere on that forward. list does it say do anything about ISIS. I mean, this is one of his priorities: is releasing warriors back onto the battlefield. It's like he's impervious to what's going and on. And giving a hundred billion dollars to uh, emerging countries to fight climate change. It's That'll nice. get him. <laughs>